All right, here we go. RJ, Mr. L.A. Welcome that to Vlad TV. That part, what's happening? It's a, Everything it's a good, man. Been seeing Everything so many good. people. Bless, uh, bless, the, bless the presence. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been hearing the name now for a while because I live in L.A. most of the time as well. And mm-hmm. I've been hearing the RJ name pop up, you know. It don't go features. nowhere. It don't go nowhere. And I mean, it's it's been it's been it's been it's been it's been stationed for like you know, four years. Hey man, I mean I, I've seen artists that grind for ten years until they get that big big hit. Yeah, that's you know it yeah. happens. That's what that's what I'm prepared for. Well, that's what I was coming into the game. That's what I was prepared for. Uh, you know, late exposure being you feel me. It's hard to it's hard to like. Uh, really like showcase and sell a uh, versatility went into realness you know what i'm saying like f- coming from realness it's like you real if you're a real nigga you be one way type shit but my music is like you know i jump on a beat and i i take it somewhere else so it's kind of hard you know what i'm saying to really like you know put that out there to people people like like hits that's like uh when they hear a hit and you want to you know Motherfucking like when you go into that CD, you want to hear more shit just like that. My shit is like you gonna hear some some old other shit that you fall in love with. You be like, damn, well, which one, which style do I fall in love with? And you can't because it's versatility. Yeah, but you know the more the more product you put out, the more you start developing the process, and the more you start kind of connecting with your fan base and figuring out who your fan base is, and True. before you know it. You don't really even care about hits because you have such. No, that's a, what I'm on. Exactly. I was gonna get to that too. Like I'm not even in the. I'm not even in that. That stage of just trying to make hits right now. I'm just more so on like making great music. You know what I'm saying? That's what. That's the, the, the level I'm at. Like just making good music. If you feel me, labels be like, oh, we need a hit. We need a hit. Well, shit, pick from this because like my my fan base is large. You feel me? Vast. So. You feel me? You you can, you know what I'm saying? They just, they love me for me right now. So that's the dope part. That's the dope part about it. And that's the great stage I'm in. You feel me? Just being, just focus on the music. We just trying to make great music and make classic music. Makes music, my my, my music is going to last, uh, you feel me, longer than me. You know what I'm saying? Being that the, the content is, you feel me, crazy. You feel me? And you fall in love with the content as well as the sound and the style. So, you feel me? My, my music gonna last long, way longer than I, than I am. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what the I goal. focus on. That's the goal, to create content that outlives you. Yeah, exactly. You could pa- pass down to your children and let them eat off of it too. <laughs> that part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you were born and raised in South Central. Yeah, born okay. and raised, yeah. And I guess uh, your grandfather was a, a bootlegger. Damn, he was. On me, what, 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 kind, yeah. what kind of bootlegging? Like liquor or liquor, bootlegging liquor. I mean, that's actually how John F. Kennedy's family made their money through bootlegging. Really, huh? John F. Kennedy. Mm-hmm. John yeah, F. So Kennedy, got, President got, John F. Kennedy. Got, I got something in common with, with some great people. There you go. Yeah, they made their money, you know, kind of illegally, and then kind of washed it through politics, and there you have it. I mean, shit, ain't that the American way? It is. <laughs> it is. Okay, so you grew up in LA. Yeah. And uh you you went to like five different high schools? Correct. I went to like um uh, uh Westchester, Washington. Those that know, those who live in LA Unified, they understand what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Uh Washington, Westchester, Culver City, uh Fairfax, Fremont my five schools I went to. Okay. Why so many schools? Um, just uh, moving around. Uh, I never really moved. You feel me? I never really moved around my house, but like schools. I went to different schools, chasing sports, uh, uh, fighting, tip, shit, typical nigga shit. Uh, we just, you know what I mean? To young, doing our thing, and then I'm just trying to like you feel me, uh, find somewhere, you know what I'm saying that accept me and all that. Probably I don't know. I was, it was most of them was my decision to move. Like I'm trying to go to a different school and I'm trying to go here, so I, I mean it is what it is. I don't know. Shit, young, 
fuck. I don't really, I gotta tap into that. Maybe I gotta tap into that on the album. I'm gonna tap in on the album. Maybe that could be my, like, you feel me, uh, therapy or some shit like that. I don't know. But it was just, you know what I mean? Transfers and expel and ex- expels, getting expelled and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Well, in Double XL, you said that you were, um, you were a blood in an all crip school. Oh yeah, that that was one of the schools I went to. Yeah, my okay. Uh, yeah, my my upbringing was um, it's crazy. You feel me? I'm from LA, so we go through all kind of shit. Okay. Um, I mean, when did you start? Uh, when did you become a blood? At what age? Uh, shit, I was I was born into this shit like real key. Not born, and I wouldn't say born in it, but. You know what I'm saying? My pops and my, my uncles and shit, that's what they was. So I just follow suit, really. You know what I mean? Just follow suit, being young and dumb, following suit, and trying to, ex- you know what I mean, find somewhere to go. I don't know. But, um, and then I, you know, finally ended up at one of uh, all blood school, and it felt like, you feel me? It felt like home and all that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I was young. High school, I think, when I really started going crazy with that shit. When, I, when the peer pressure kick in and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Peer pressure kick in, that's when you start being like, damn, you feel me? The homies is getting into it with motherfuckers, so, you know what I'm saying? People's getting into it with people I'm with, so, you you know, you start going crazy with that shit. But that's where all the music come from, though, you know what I'm saying? The music is just like based on, um, you know, me always wanting to do music. You feel me? I always wanted to find somewhere to go. I always wanted to escape somewhere, like something. Just, just you know what I mean? Be into something, find some kind of focus. Cause I played sports, but like the sports, I never was real. I was just good. You know, the one of the people that's just good. I'm just good at everything that I do. I'm just good, and I didn't really, really work on the sports and practice too hard on sports if I didn't have to, you feel me? But the music, I always went further with the music. Like I always like wanted to be better with the music, you feel me? Maybe because I wasn't good at uh, uh, rapping at first. Man, I wasn't good at rapping at first. I was just doing it with the homies and, and it was homies that was better than me. So maybe that made me want to be tight at that shit because that was something that I wasn't good at at first. You feel me? I always had a good voice. I always had a good rap voice, but it wasn't never really like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, too much bars and all that shit. Then I just started f- like working on that shit and focusing on that shit. So mm-hmm. that's what the, you know what I'm saying. And then that's what I talk about too. Like you feel me? Just past experiences and, and things like that. Man, it became therapy and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like my therapy. Everything is therapeutic because I think we all you know, have conflict. Um, I think we all go through conflicts and shit like that. So the music really like helped me be, you know what I mean? Reflect on shit and get shit off my chest too. That shit cool, that shit dope. So maybe I should talk about, I'm gonna talk about that in the album too. In the album, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, uh, pick a certain point in my life and I'm gonna talk about some some, some some times like that in high school and shit. Dope. You can sample the interview if you want. Huh? You know what I mean? You can sample this interview if you want. We, we've shown up <laughs> on a couple albums. You know what I mean? Boosie, Boosie put me on his album and some other shit. You yeah. know, sample just parts. Throw me. Throw, throw, throw you in there. <laughs>